I'm here in Abilene, Texas, the flagship site of OpenAI's Stargate program, a build out that's quickly spreading across the country. Now today, OpenAI, SoftBank, and Oracle announced five more Stargate sites, stretching across Texas, New Mexico, Ohio, and then an undisclosed location in the Midwest. That brings the initiative to nearly seven gigawatts of capacity and more than $400 billion of investment over the next three years. These blockbuster deals have already fueled huge gains for AI-linked stocks. But one of Oracle's new CEOs told me that he is not worried about a bubble. We see a broad-based demand across a huge swath of the industry. So it's not just from any one individual place that we're seeing this demand coming from. And as this kind of continues through, I, I don't worry about a bubble because I see committed demand for it. And also, the other thing I would say is, you know, Oracle's not just in the infrastructure business. We're also in the application business, so we're also consumers of this technology. Those comments echo what I heard from OpenAI CEO Sam Altman, who told me that this scale of construction is the only way to keep pace with AI's explosive growth. And this is what it takes to deliver AI. AI, unlike previous uh, technological revolutions or previous versions of the internet, there's so much infrastructure that's required. And uh, this is a small sample of it. Altman also told me that OpenAI's trajectory so far only underscores the need for even more compute. Uh, with what we see on the horizon for how much people are going to want to use this and what the quality of intelligence, the level of intelligence we can deliver with more compute, we're very confident at this point we're going to need much, much more compute to deliver on that. And here in West Texas, that demand is already taking shape. OpenAI CFO Sarah Fryer told me that this Abilene campus already has one data center online and another nearly complete. And this site could ultimately scale beyond a gigawatt of power, even to serve about three quarters of a million homes. The shovels that are going in the ground here today, they're really about compute that comes online in 2026. That first NVIDIA um, push will be for Vera Rubens, the new frontier accelerator chips. Um, but then it's about what gets built for 27, 28, and 29. What we see today is a massive compute crunch. There's not enough compute to do all the things that AI can do. And so we need to get it started and we need to do it as a full ecosystem. And this all comes just one day after OpenAI signed a $100 billion partnership with NVIDIA. Now, Fryer told me that the real bottleneck here isn't money, it is power. OpenAI has scouted more than 800 sites across North America, and she said that even nuclear is on the table alongside wind and solar. She also stressed that OpenAI will build its own first party infrastructure to keep pricing leverage and protect its IP, comparing it to Amazon's decision to build AWS rather than run on IBM servers. So while critics question whether the money flows are sustainable, OpenAI insists that this build out is the only way to meet surging demand for AI. For CNBC, I'm Mackenzie Segalos in Abilene, Texas.